Welcome to the new Volunteer Management System online training for the Texas Master Naturalist Program. Today's lesson will show you first, how to register as a new volunteer, second, how to search for more opportunities, third, how to use the volunteer dashboard, and fourth, how to find more training videos and help using the Volunteer Management System. First, open a web browser and type in txmn.org into the address line to reach the Texas Master Naturalist website. When you hover over the Chapter Resources tab, a drop-down menu will reveal the Volunteer Management System link. Click on the link. You have now reached the Volunteer Management System portal webpage. If you already have an assigned user ID and password, you must log in as a registered volunteer and you can watch the following training videos 1 and 2 as a registered user. The purpose of this training video is to guide those who have not been set up with an assigned user ID and password. We will now address the first goal of this lesson applying to become a new volunteer. Click on the link apply to become a new volunteer on the Volunteer Management System Portal webpage. A webpage titled, Find a Master Naturalist Opportunity will open. Before I apply, I must choose a volunteer service opportunity. The word opportunity is meant to describe such things as advanced trainings, volunteer events, or even Texas Master Naturalist chapters. As an example, I will search by clicking on a section in the regional map. As a new volunteer, I'm going to search for the Master Naturalist chapter nearest my location. I'm going to apply to the Heart of Texas Master Naturalist chapter since that's the one closest to me. When I click on the title link for Heart of Texas Master Naturalist chapter, a new web page opens. The opportunity details are shown here as Description tab, Location tab, and contact information tab. There's also a link to take me back to my results. Do not use the back button on the web browser. It's best to use the provided links such as this one back to results while you are logged in to the volunteer management system. Now I'm going to click on the blue sign up button. A new window or tab will open and we are now at the point where we can apply to become a new volunteer. Click on the Apply to Become a New Volunteer button. The Volunteer Management System will show you a message that says, please wait a moment while our forms load. As you can see, the forms are now loaded and there will be five forms to complete. This is the application to become a new volunteer. The forms request confidential information and we recommend filling them out in a location where no one else can see your screen. You must complete all the content marked with a red asterisk. Click the Continue button to go forward to the next form page. Or you can use the Back button to return to a previous page in the set of forms. Once you have completed the required fields, as well as the optional fields, the last form page requires a digital signature. After you have filled out the field on the Digital Signature page, click on the Accept and Finish button. A new web page will load with a thank you message. The chapter I've just applied for, and this might go for whatever chapter you apply for, may also request that we fill out additional application forms. Now we shall address our second goal of this lesson. How to find new opportunities. The option to find opportunities can be reached in two ways. On our Thank You Confirmation page, there are four links on the right-hand side of the page. The second link, Search Opportunities, will take us to the search page. A second way to reach the same search page is by clicking on the first link called Volunteer Dashboard. Consider the Volunteer Dashboard your internal home page to the Volunteer Management System. Click on the Find Opportunities link. 
There are four ways we can search for opportunities. You can search by typing in a keyword or typing in your zip code with a mileage limiter or by using the region drop-down menu or by using the regional map. I'm going to search for advanced training by typing in AT into the keyword search field and clicking on the search button. A long list of options appear and we can scroll to see the advanced training opportunities. I'm going to choose AT Baylor Seminars by clicking on the title link. A new web page loads to show me the description, location, contact information, as well as sign up link. Click the sign up button. A new web page loads with the message, thank you for signing up for the advanced training Baylor Seminars opportunity. A volunteer coordinator will be contacting you with more information. Let's take a break. You can use this time to navigate to the Find Opportunities webpage in the Volunteer Management System or just take a few relaxing breaths. We've now come to the third goal of this lesson, using the Volunteer Dashboard. We are now at the Volunteer Dashboard webpage. Remember that the Volunteer Dashboard is like your personal homepage within the Volunteer System. At the center, you can see your six main choices. There are three other links at the bottom of the page. Edit Profile, Enable Login using a third-party software such as Facebook, as well as Log Out. On the right-hand side is the Volunteer Summary. This summary actually represents service time reported to other Texas Parks and Wildlife Department volunteer programs. It does not include Texas Master Naturalist hours. Let's look at more options in the Volunteer Dashboard. Click on the link My Placements. A new web page will load with the title You have now been placed with the following opportunities. You can see two live links in the Overview section of the Heart of Texas Master Naturalist Chapter. They are Visit our website and click here for details or to remove yourself. The first link will open the chapter website page. The second link loads a web page where I can click on Remove Me if I so choose. Click on My Schedule. A new web page will load with a calendar. By choosing the month and year in a drop down menu, you can see the opportunities in your schedule. If you click on the Opportunity link in the calendar, details of the opportunity will show up below the calendar. I'm going to choose Remove Me to show you how the system easily updates opportunities in my schedule. A confirmation web page shows the message, you are no longer registered for this schedule slot. Thank you for your interest in volunteering. More importantly, the Volunteer Management System has already communicated the update to the organizer of the opportunity, so no other steps are necessary. Let's return to the dashboard. Click the link My Referrals. A new web page will load with the title, You have been referred to the following opportunities. Click the Return link or the Volunteer Dashboard link. Now I shall address the steps for how to log out of the Volunteer Management System. If you are in the Volunteer Dashboard, the Logout link is the link below My Referrals icon on the bottom right of the web page. It is always a good practice to log out from a web-based software system or any system that requires a user ID and password. The last goal for this lesson is where to find more training videos as well as online help for using the Volunteer Management System. The following videos are available through the Texas Master Naturalist YouTube channel. Video number one teaches you how to log in as a registered user, update your password, complete your profile, and find help using the Volunteer Management System. The second video shows you how to report service hours, search for opportunities, view logbook, and find help 
with using the volunteer management system as a registered user. If you have questions or need help at any time, click on the VMS Help Desk link on the portal webpage. Clicking on the link will take you to the Volunteer Management System Fresh Desk webpage. This webpage offers such options as FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions, documents such as a volunteer guide, and video links to training videos. As a last resort, you may email tmnvms at gmail.com. Today you learned about first, applying to become a new volunteer, second, how to search for more opportunities, third, how to use the volunteer dashboard, and fourth, how to find more training videos as well as help in using the volunteer management system. We hope this video was helpful and the staff and supporters of the Texas Master Naturalist Program look forward to working with you.